Okay, so outline agreement. So outline agreements are similar to the like sales order, you can say, but little bit different functionalities. Okay. So basically we have two types of outline agreements. Okay, so one is scheduling agreements and one is contract. Okay, so let us discuss about scheduling agre agreements and what is scheduling ag agreement and what is quantity contract. Okay, so scheduling agreement. Okay, so let me create a scheduling agreement for you. So So to create a scheduling, scheduling agreement, so what I need to do is to go to logistics, sales and distribution, sales and uh, scheduling agreement and create VA31. Okay. So click on this one VA31. So it's similar to as we create a, a sales orders. Look sim similar to that one. Okay. So. <clears throat> Here I will select the scheduling ag agreement type. And here the standard one I will be using is DS. DS is the standard one. Okay, so DS. For this sales area and enter. Okay, and you can see the skin is similar to the um, sales order. So I'll select this is the customer number, enter, valid to date and valid from date is mandatory. And uh, see, this is the warning I was talking about. If this that one is ticked, you can see this type of warning at the bottom. Okay, so I'll say valid from is, valid from is um, just today. And valid to is say end of this month and then press enter. Okay, now here we'll give it a material number. Okay, so like this one we want to deliver this material and, and the target quantity. Okay, for example, target quantity is I will say 1000 or 2000. Okay, if I select that and if I go to the details of items and if I go to schedule lines, I can here create different schedule lines. Okay, now let me tell you the basic difference between a, a sales order and a scheduling ag agreement. Okay, so basically a schedule, a sales order, you know what is sales order. Okay, it's, it's like a one-off one -off sale. Okay, somebody wants to buy something from you and uh, from your business and you will create a sales order for like a one-off entry. Okay. But if you think about uh, like a customer is saying that, okay, I will be buying like a, like a bulk order, you can say. Okay, so if the customer is saying, okay, I will be, uh, I want to buy, I don't want to buy only 10 pieces of PC from your company. I want to buy 2000 pieces. Okay, so for this one, I want you to give me some special discount or some special price or discounted price on all that. Okay, so in this case, what, what I'll do, I will say, okay. I will create a scheduling agreement, okay, and I will give them special price, okay. So I will say, okay, uh, I will create a. You want to buy two thousand quantity from us from this for this laptop, okay? We'll create a scheduling agreement, and the customer is saying, I want to, uh, I want to get the delivery weekly, okay. So the customer will say, every week I want to get say five hundred, uh, five hundred uh, laptop, okay, as a as as a delivery, okay. So. So next, this so if suppose it's so today Saturday. So next Saturday, I want uh, 500 laptops, and the following Saturday again 500 and 500 and 500, and that's how I want to do it. Okay. So when we're talking about scheduling agreement, we basically we're talking about a long term agreement. Okay. I just created a one month here, but usually it's like a years, like one year agreement or two year agreement. So let me create a one year agreement here. Okay. So for example, in this case I have created one year agreement of say uh, 1200. Uh, laptops for example okay so customer now is saying that okay i will be buying 1200 laptops from you in the next one year time okay give me a special price and some uh, better conditions okay so i'll say okay because you're buying um uh, this um, 
1200 laptops, I'll give you a special price. Okay, so I can change the price here or I can create a pricing record for this customer. Okay, so to change the price here, I will select this item, go to the item details and click on conditions. Here you can see this is, is copying the price from the uh, from the pricing master record we have which we have seen before okay but here it's saying the standard price copying is, is 20 euro but because our customer said okay because uh, I want to buy a lot of them in bulk okay I'll say okay I'll give you with $70 each price and I can give it I'm giving them a special price here right so now I can go back so I'm providing a discount to the customer customer is happy customer is saying okay I will be buying 1200 in the next one year time and I want you to deliver 100 pieces of laptop every month every first of first first date of every month okay so in this case I'll create a scheduling scheduling agreement and here I'll say valid from today and valid until the next one year okay as as uh, said by the customer I, I put the, the 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 laptop number or material number and 1200 is a quantity okay just ignore point two you know why it's doing that it's the setting uh, in the user, I'll, I'll fix it later on. It's just assume it's 1200. Okay, so <clears throat> so and I change the price. I said okay because 1200. Sorry, because um, uh, we selling it for 20 euro per piece. I'll I'll give you 17. Okay, now I need to create some scheduling lines. So I will select this one, go to the details, and here go to the schedule lines. Here I will create some schedule lines manually. So I will say okay, first of every month they said they want to delivery. So I will say, okay, the first delivery I will be sending you say next month, first of next month, and the uh, order quantity will be 100, for example, and tick. System is saying I can confirm only 79. Okay, just ignore that. Okay, and again I will copy this one. I will say on 8th, again I will send you 100. Customer is saying I can give you 79, just ignore this one. Again, um, on 9th I can say 100 again like that for the last, next one year okay so so I can create all that entries for the next one year okay so I'll say for so for every month first of every month I will be sending you 100 pieces of laptop okay and I will create a schedule line a schedule agreement so as soon as I save it I will save this one now there are some mandatory fields edit that's PO number and shipping point. So I will select this. Complete data. PO number is say one, two, three, four, something, whatever. And next one is is shipping point. I'll select this one. Complete data. And shipping point which should be this one. I need to enter a storage location. Okay, all good. Okay, go back and now I will save it. Okay, so that's a scheduling agreement. So 300 something. So if I want to check it again, so I can go to direction VA32 to the chain mode of this transaction or I can search it here. When you go to VA32 or if I show you the menu path here, V32 here. Here I can, if you can't remember the number here, you can search for it by customer material number, by purchase order number, by sold to party number, a lot of options. So I will say sold to party number is 301336. Search. And there's only one scheduling agreement for this customer. I'll select that. It will copy the number here. And that's it okay so if I go to the schedule lines of this one here you can see all the delivery plan okay like I didn't create it for all the for the all, for the next full one year but what will happen like first of seventh first of July um, you know when, when the delivery process will run the delivery so system will automatically propose uh, 100 pieces for delivery and again first of August it will propose 100 pieces for delivery again and again, first of next month, it will propose 100 pieces of delivery. Okay, so the workflow will be like that. So, so we have a scheduling. Agreement here. Okay, and the next step is 